Yep. Hey guys, Rob Sigma 3 Survival School. Um, I just wanted to show y'all a quick little tip, uh, something that I've added to a previous uh, trap that, that is on our YouTube channel, uh, the live game box trap. This is a fantastic trap for when you need to keep things alive um, or catch things like birds or whatever. I'm going to show you how to add a trap door to the base of this trap so that not only can you keep the animal alive, you can carry the animal back to camp and then you can have a way to quickly dispose of them by dunking them in the creek and, and drowning them uh, by having this trap door on the trap. It's literally like a little carrying case that you can drag around in the woods with you. So the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and cut some sticks to length. Uh, you can come back and trim them later with your saw. And you want to make sure that these sticks fit up in here properly where there's no gaps. And once you do that, then you're going to take two sticks like this. And we're basically, it's going to be essentially the same way that okay, you make so a raft. You're basically just going to lash this together just like a raft like I talked about. And this is the first side. And it doesn't have to be just crazy tight. You can tighten it up later. And just make sure that this is all jam-packed together. And then we're gonna do the other side. So feed that in. Here's what we're looking for. Basically, you're gonna have one side that's really cranked down, and then we're gonna come back and trim this in to the length we need, or you can pre-measure that uh, you want. There's a lot of different ways to set this up. You don't necessarily have to have this bottom bar on here. Uh, it makes it a little bit less work uh, as far as making it conform to the inner port part of the trap, you know, as far as fitting in. So uh, a lot of different ways you can set it up, but now all we're gonna do is take this side and trim it off. All right, so here's basically the finished product. You wanna try to custom fit this to the base and some of this stuff can move around it's fine there's a little bit of a gap on both sides of these either way and all you all I've done is tied this off with a couple of pieces of string here and then we've got one piece of string here and that'll help stretch the frame of the door out and it's got a loop on the end and you just secure it to that and then basically you've got yourself portable animal container you know you catch the animal in it and if, if you haven't seen how to construct this make sure you check out the video on how to build the live game box trap and then also the trigger system involved with it but now that this is completed you know once you catch your animal then you can basically just submerge them down in the water you can keep them in camp however you want to dispatch them this is a good way to keep your your game live uh, and then also a, a simple way to deal with the animal without having to kill it in an unhumane way. I mean, drowning is, squirrels will literally drown in, in less than 30 seconds. They have a, high, a, a really high metabolism, so their, their oxygen gets sucked up really quickly. So it's, it's a good way to dispatch of animals. And that's just another, uh, you know, thing that you can throw into your survival toolbox. This is one of the, the main things that we teach out. We're doing a survival trapping class today. So if you guys have an interest in, in learning any of these types of skills, check out our website and uh, you know check the schedule for the different dates. We teach primitive traps, modern traps with conibears, snares, all kinds of different stuff. We cover the whole gamut. So uh, check out the site and then also please help support us by subscribing. Thanks.